testing. There we go. Sorry about that. Hey everybody, what's going on? Spyro Kid here, and today we are playing Dragon Quest 11s, Hard Mode Plus, and HP up by 2, and required XP up by 8. How are all of you today? I'm doing pretty good. We'll start in just a moment, but first, here are today's top stories from. Uh, from something here. They're supposed to be showing up on here. Ah, uh, here we go. Right here. Alright, so first, uh, today's news headlines by the Associated Press. This is AP News Minute. Rishi Sunak became Britain's third Prime Minister of the Year. Sunak, who is the UK's first leader of... Sorry, Parliament, let me restart that. ...by the Minister of the Year on Tuesday. Is this is AP News Minute. Rishi Sunak became Britain's third Prime Minister of the Year on Tuesday. Sunak, who is the UK's first leader of colour, is seen by his party as a safe pair of hands. It hopes will stabilise an economy sliding towards recession. The Kremlin has reaffirmed the claim made by Russia's defense minister that Ukraine was preparing a provocation involving a so-called dirty bomb. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov insisted that it posed significant danger despite the West's dismissal of it. A Russian court has rejected an appeal by U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner of her nine-year prison sentence for drug possession. The step could move Griner closer to a possible high-stakes prisoner swap between Moscow and Washington. And Adidas has ended its partnership with the rapper formerly known as Kanye West over his offensive and anti-Semitic remarks. Luke Sheridan, Associated Press with AP News Minute. Okay, up next, in-depth... Tax fraud trial begins for Trump Organization by Reuters. Jury selection began on Monday in the tax fraud trial of former U.S. President Donald Trump's family business. A case in which the Trump Organization is accused of awarding off-the-books benefits to some senior executives. Attorney William Brennan is defending the firm. We're figuring it's going to be probably a good solid week for jury selection. You know. The trial opened after the Manhattan District Attorney's Office last year charged Trump's namesake real estate company in Allen Weisselberg, its then chief financial officer. In August, Weisselberg pleaded guilty to helping the company defraud tax authorities for 15 years in an agreement with prosecutors that requires him to testify at this trial. The charges to which Weisselberg pleaded guilty included grand larceny and tax fraud, and he admitted concealing $1.76 million in income. As a result, Lawyers for the Trump Organization have said they're prepared to accuse the longtime CFO of lying. The Trump Organization, which operates hotels, golf courses, and other real estate around the world, could face up to $1.6 million in fines for the three tax fraud counts and six other counts it faces. The company has pleaded not guilty. Trump himself is not charged in the case. The criminal tax trial is but one of the legal hurdles facing the former president. We are filing a lawsuit against Donald Trump for violating the law as part of his efforts to generate profits for himself, his family, and his company. Last month, the New York Attorney General filed a $250 million lawsuit against Trump, three of his adult children, and his company, accusing them of overstating asset values and his net worth to get favorable bank loans and insurance coverage. He also faces a criminal investigation in Georgia related to election meddling and a Justice Department probe into allegations he illegally retained classified materials after he left office. Okay, up next, headlines from BBC World News. This is BBC World News. I'm Yalda Hakim. The headlines. Rishi Sunak has started work as Britain's new Prime Minister with a promise to restore confidence. He said Britain was facing a profound economic crisis and he would fix mistakes made by his predecessor. Liz Truss has defended her vision of lower taxes before bowing out as the shortest serving British Prime Minister ever. She urged Rishi Sunak to be bold in a bid to boost the economy. The UN's nuclear uh, says its inspectors have regularly visited two sites in Ukraine at the center of Russian claims that Kiev is preparing a so-called dirty bomb. It says the inspectors will return in the coming days. And thousands of mourners in the occupied West Bank have marched through the streets of Nablus during funerals held 
held for five Palestinians killed in an Israeli raid. And they're all your latest headlines here on BBC World News. And up next in depth, Pakistani journalist killed in Kenya police shooting. A well-known Pakistani journalist has been shot dead in Nairobi. Arshad Sharif was killed on Sunday when police, hunting car thieves, opened fire on the vehicle he was traveling in. The car drove through their roadblock without stopping, according to a police report. It said a relative of Sharif had been driving the car. A Kenyan police watchdog said it is investigating the incident. Sharif's death has sparked widespread outrage in Pakistan, including on social media from officials, journalists and others. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan condemned the death and said Sharif had been murdered for his journalistic work. He called for a judicial investigation into the incident. A senior Kenyan police officer told local media that the shooting was being treated as a case of mistaken identity. Sharif worked for many years as a primetime television news show host for ARY News in Pakistan. He had recently fled the country, citing threats to his life. It was not immediately clear when he had arrived in Kenya. Hmm. Uh, up next, Showbiz Minute by the Associated Press. AP Showbiz Minute. Leslie Jordan, the Emmy-winning actor who starred in Will and Grace and American Horror Story, has died. He was 67. Jordan, who won an Outstanding Guest Actor Emmy in 2005 for Will and Grace, appeared recently in Call Me Cat and co-starred in the sitcom The Cool Kids. He earned an unexpected new following during coronavirus lockdown when he posted daily videos of himself on Instagram and TikTok. A completed documentary about the rapper formerly known as Kanye West has been shelved amid his recent slew of anti-Semitic remarks. Ye was recently restricted from posting on Twitter and Instagram over anti-Semitic posts that the social network said violated their policies. He's also suggested slavery was a choice and called the COVID-19 vaccine the mark of the beast. Ye's talent agency, CAA, has also dropped him. R&B singer Mary J. Blige has joined First Lady Jill Biden to promote cancer prevention. Blige, who's lost several relatives to cancer, was a guest at the White House on Monday for meetings with the American Cancer Society. This is Lizzie Knight with AP Showbiz Minute. Uh, next on this day, October 25th, 1954. The opening of the Italian Film Festival at the Tivoli Her Theatre Majesty Queen Elizabeth II joined, joined stars and producers from Italy who were all in London for the second, the second Italy Film, film Festival. In London. Mr. and Mrs. Peter Ustinov, Mr. Soames with his wife, formerly Miss Mary Churchill, and of course many Italian film stars. There's Nadia Gray, Gianna Canale, Vittorio De Sica with Gina Lola Brigida, and Irene Jenna. A brilliant occasion this, and the first Italian film festival to be honoured by the presence of Her Majesty, who came with the Duke and Princess Margaret. First, Nadia Gray. Now, Sophia Loren. Gianna Canale. and Gina Lola Brigida, followed by Giulietta Mazzina. The Royal Party saw the festival's opening film, Neapolitan Fantasy. And last but not least, today in history for October 25th. October 25th, 1962. In New York, the Cuban Missile Crisis takes center stage at the United Nations Security Council. Ambassador Adlai Stevenson presents photographic evidence of Soviet missile bases in Cuba. Stevenson challenges Soviet Ambassador Valerian Zorin in this memorable cold... Nineteen seventy one. 
China's seat at the United Nations changes hands. The UN General Assembly votes to admit communist mainland China and expel Taiwan. 1983, an American-led force invades Grenada to oust a leftist government allied with Cuba and the Soviet Union. President Ronald Reagan calls the action necessary to protect U.S. citizens on the Caribbean island nation. 1854, the battle that inspires the poem The Charge of the Light Brigade happens during the Crimean War. An English brigade of more than 600 men, facing hopeless odds, charges Russia's army during the Battle of Balaclava and suffers heavy losses. 1400, Geoffrey Chaucer, author of the Canterbury Tales, one of English literature's greatest works, dies in London. And 1999, golfer Payne Stewart and five others are killed when their Learjet crashes in South Dakota after flying uncontrolled for four hours. Stewart was 42 years old. Today in History, October 25th, Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press. All right, and those are today's headlines. Don't go, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back and start with Dragon Quest. Alright, let's begin. Alright, here's what's happened so far. The search for the orbs continues, and our heroes arrive in the Crystal Kingdom of Sniffleheim, where the blue orb is said to be. Unfortunately, they find everything in the city frozen solid, from the castle gates to the citizens themselves, and no sign of an orb anywhere. Queen Frisabelle explains that this is all the work of a wicked witch who haunts the Hexwood to the east, and the party depart to seek out and stop her. Deep within the forest, Spirekid finds German, the witch's minion! Ah! Excuse me, the witch's minion. He defeats the beast, but within moments, its mistress appears and attacks. His friends appear and chase her off, but the cold takes its toll and Spirekid collapses. While recuperating a nearby hut, he meets Snorri, who tells him of the Royal Library and how it might hold the key to defeating Crystalinda. They head there right away and soon find a tomb that lays the troubling true bear. The beast Spire Kid beat in the Hexwood wasn't working for the witch, but was a creature of good who was instrumental in sealing the sorcerer's powers away. Furthermore, the book Frisabelle carried bore a distinctive seal Marking it out as a forbidden grimoire, the party made case of Sifflefine to confront the Queen. Wait a moment here. Do I have the right file? sec here. That doesn't seem right. According to that, this is before the boss with, uh, uh, with Crystalinda.
8021. Where are these both? Don't tell me that I did not save. Saved. <laughs> I wonder if I could just dip right through this. Oh, I could probably use a cheat engine thing. Back. this then because I've already done this so it was an accident that I didn't save Let's just save before nothing else happens. <laughs> there. Okay. Now we go.
Nice. Oh, probably gonna be some equipment, uh, some items I have to get rid of. Certainly I must have used them. Oh, I don't have MP.
I'll be right back. Just need to refill my water. Don't go away. say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. I've mentioned it before, but... <laughs> Different Eric.
Well, if I'm a fool, then what are you? <coughs> What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Didn't you? Hmm, something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the Queen before anything else strange happens. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffleheim. If you will just come a little closer. Stop! Huh? Huh? Please, stop! <gasps> it's the book! The voice is coming from the book! to me. I am the real Frisabelle. The woman in front of you is the witch. What? Ridiculous. She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. She's lying. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm, the orb, you say? Very well, very well. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabelle is the one in the book! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. Very queenly. Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender! I surrender! <laughs> oh. Oh. I wait all that time to get my powers back and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. <laughs> my magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, 
take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> <clears throat> Wait! Oh, your Majesty, what are you doing? <laughs> Could it be... Let's have a nice little chat. Isabel, please step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Oh. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city, but we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Hmm, she seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. <coughs> Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. <laughs> then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Hendrik, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. <laughs> he disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Hmm. Thank 
thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. Spark, it receives the blue orb. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Free Sabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. And right now starts to glow brighter than ever before. Our kids' orb collection is complete. Head east through the Snarefelt and climb for the first forest to open a path to Yggdrasil. Shields? Huh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. 
loitering by the docks, Eric. <laughs> None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Mm. Huh? What's wrong, Ralph? <laughs> Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Crevins! Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> How did that get there? Ooh, is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? <laughs> I thought you said it was a spell book. <laughs> Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <laughs> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. <laughs> and after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> But wait, you, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. <laughs> <laughs> the articles, I tell ye. going to mention it, but... Oh! <laughs> Drat! <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but...
talk to you about. What's up? I wasn't going to mention it, but... Darling, let's have a nice wee chat, shall we? You wanted to speak to me? Luminary, shall we proceed? These pictures, they're incredible. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Erdria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. <clears throat> you must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck.
You good? I wasn't going to mention it, but... Hm. You want to speak with little old me? No then, laddie.
Crab leveled up. New spell. More heal. Three skill points. I'll save up that right now. Wait from Zing Stick. I almost forgot we must do the bonus class of Crystalinda. Uh oh.
can do it! Do the bonus boss. Save first. Step into my ice. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Bad start here. Okay, so I've decided that we'll do double bosses at the same time once we do these things, just so we can get some difficulty out of this. And start. Probably need Savanda in here too.
is going to hurt. Do you want to be a snowman? Feeling chilly? Hmm. <laughs> 
Do you want to be a snowman? My magic. Whoops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
north wind doth blow.
Let there be snow! CC holy <laughs> I'm a party of snowmen
Do you want to be a snowman? Time to heat things up! Oh. The 
not the wind that blows. Do you want to be a snowman? Eh. Perhaps this will help. is going to hurt. Sixty-six underscore ZGZ. Hey Spyro, what's up? I'm good, Omega. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're just undergoing a bonus boss, and I decided for bonus boss we'll have a duplicate of the boss. So we'll be battling two of them. <laughs> just to make it harder. Omega six sixty six underscore Z G Z. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know if it's if it's just the location or that's different, or if it's the game settings. 
but it's supposed to be um, making it so the ice attacks are stronger. I don't know if I'm noticing a difference or what, but it seems to be a little easy so far for me. Blast off! Do you want to be a snowman? This is going to hurt. Look after yourself. Thank you. Hmm. I wonder if this works. <laughs> nice. Rithopo Mega 666 underscore ZGZ. Yeah, the original version of her was dishing out major pain when you fought her. These two doesn't seem like as much. Meh. <laughs> I wonder if I should put in a third. Do you think I should put in a third and start over or just keep going with this? Rithofomega666 underscore ZGZ. Just keep going. Okay.
Shot for all! Cape just went crazy for a second.
is going to hurt. Ooh. Feeling chilly? Do you want to be a snowman? Go on! You can do it! Freeze! <laughs> Do you want to be a snowman? Meh! <laughs> Crackless! Oh! <laughs> 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 
Do you want to be a snowman? Sure.
Let there be snow! Taking quite a while. Sofo made a 666 underscore ZGZ. I really like this song from P4. Did you I'll want face to myself. No. Yeah. Pretty good boss theme. Let there be snow! Mr. Linda will face himself. <laughs> Herself. <laughs> Not directly. Feeling chilly. Here you go. The 
Excellent if he's half dead. Omega six sixty six underscore ZG. Yeah. <laughs> Booming villain from five is a really good one too. Mm. If you want to request the song, just use your viewer rewards. Give up. <laughs> Linda A is sixty six underscore ZG. Will do. <laughs> Do you want to be a snowman? Here you go. <laughs> Do you want to be a No! <laughs> this ought to help. Not so hasty! Don't give up! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
is going to hurt. Burying him in anything? Whatever. <laughs> fight, fight, and fight some more. I was focusing too much on the song. Crackles. <laughs> Do you want to be a snowman? Oh my god. Slides.
Do you want to be a snowman? Man. You know, I should probably be using those boulder bringers a lot more. Wolverine. Just popping by before I stream in a bit. Hey, Wolverine, how are ya? Welcome to the stream. What are you up to? Just battling double crystal windows. Hey, <laughs> part of the bunk, boss. Wolverine. Sword of Shadows gets removed doing the Tickington stuff. I think I might just have to give up on the notion of it. Hmm. Tickington. Or you could just do all your stuff and do the Tickington stuff last and add it all back after. Because there are mods that do not work properly in 2D mode at all. At least they have backup. The White Wolverine. Brilliant Blade is fine. There's even a mod that makes the Drazilean armor look paladin like. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Feeling chilly. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Omega 666 underscore ZGZ. Oh, Spyro. 
Did you ever give Silvando the plus 40 charm ability? Not yet. He doesn't have enough points for it yet. But I will give it to him. These turn blocks are annoying. I am the tiger, baby. Go on, you can do it. Uh. I don't even know if magic bears really make a difference against the spells. Not the brass, but the crackle spells. White ball green. I'm guessing that snowman effect is a turn skip ability. Oh shit. <laughs> it is just slowing me down so much. But Mm -hmm. this is but that's a different effect, it's... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it is completely different uh, in effect. Accelerator! 
Do you want to be a snowman? Feeling chilly? Slowly getting there. Yeah, but I've got all my resources into ice protection. I'll be dead when she uses these. <laughs> Crystalinda B is almost dead. How much damage is it blocking? I was referring to prepping myself for the likes of her angel D. Ah, see. I'll have accessories for preventing turn skips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I got this now. Do I even have the recipes to prevent those? I think so. It'll be a little later unless you can. Act 2 for sure before Jinx Jade. Mm. <laughs> the White Ball Green. Who you should have Angel's Boots for. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Killing a snowman. Wolverine. One of Serena's best outfits in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I like it too. I like dragons. I like anything with wings. <laughs> mm. Wolverine. Though at some point I'm just gonna change mine into adult Veronica for posterity. Oh. <laughs> Decelerator! Oh. 
for Cylinder A is almost dead. Do you want to be a snowman? Hey. 